Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Yeah, so if this is the first time here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we highly recommend subscribing to stay updated with our latest content. Hit the subscription button above, click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel release a video. Remember that this channel is not an entertainment channel. You know, entertainment channels give you a average between 10 to 15 minutes. This is not an entertainment channel. So you have to go elsewhere if you want entertainment. Remember to give this video a thumbs up because you will find it helpful and informative. Please remember to share the video with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mama, papa, side chick or side man and tell them to tell a friend about the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You can join the Patreon squad. By doing so, you will gain access to exclusive content that cannot be played on YouTube due to various restrictions. To unlock this untapped collection of videos, click the link in the description box below. Join our Patreon community allows you to explore content that complies with laws, rules and regulations while avoiding disruption to our channel's functionalities. You'll be able to see videos and you'll see photos, photographs, names of persons who have been killed and are and still waiting on justice like Rifle of the British crew, one of the British of the uh, of the British crew, and you'll see the people who are involved in the killing of these men and others, including Douglas Chambers, who was killed by PMP criminal organization members, and it it came from the top. And to date, the person, our person who have given given that order, has not been arrested and charged for that murder. So you can go to Patreon and you'll be able to see the face and name of those person. So thanks for your continued support and we look forward to providing you with exceptional content. So moving on to today's video. You know, now this is part two, you know, we, um, you know, welcome to, you know, welcome to, this is part two, you know, where the madness is here and the gender neutrality move, movement is taking center stage in a country known for its vibrant culture and beautiful landscape. A new wave of change is sweeping through society. Gone are the days of rigid gender norms and stereotypes. People are embracing the idea that gender is a spectrum, not binary. The Jamaican people are not breaking down barriers. It's the politician, it's the, the, the um, PhD, the degree criminals yes they are the ones that break him down you know all of these um tradition traditional beliefs about what it means to be male or female from fashion to music to politics the push for gender equality is stronger than ever it's a movement yeah man that is empowering the men in pink briefs to express themselves freely like philip Palwell, yeah terry long Raymond Price and the likes and Te Terry Long, Orlando Terry Long, Patrick Bailey, all of these guys, you know. So, Jamaica, uh, Jamaica is <laughs> a gender neutrality movement and, uh, you know, celebrate diversity and inclusiv inclusivity that define this beautiful island nation. So, with all that you want to believe it, you know, this is where the madness starts. So whether, whether you like it or not, this is how it is going to be. 
So those of you who can't adapt to this new way of life, you know, you have to just prepare for economic terrorism. But you as black people, some of you who are brave in us know that um, our people, yes, of all the people in the world, black people, are the ones who have faced enormous form of terrorism. Black people endure every kind of terrorism you can think of. We are the recipients of all kind of terrorism in this world. You understand? So, with this now, yes, and guess what? It's a black man behind it. So, you understand? So, you know, more or less now, um, as much as fifth billion connected to them, yes, what we say to them, we talk to the establishment. But because I'm a Christian, yeah, him, and him now come out and talk and say, boy, they will ask him about that, you know, and him say, no, I don't support it. Because if he ever do that, him can't, him, hey, when he retire, he never get to work with the government. Because it's going as a system where you talk about real criminality. We tell you, you know, the people, them, we have a degree, them, the PhD, the masters and the bachelors and the associates, and them are the real criminal in Jamaica. They are destroy Jamaica. So, I want you, you watch, you listen, and you decide because we're just here you know, to educate you, our loyal viewers and subscribers and members of the Patreon squad. So, you watch, you listen, you decide. It may be necessary to fulfill these duties effectively. So, here them come now and say gender neutrality and diversity. Adapt, adapting gender neutral policies within the police force promotes inclusivity and diversity by removing gender-based barriers and ensuring equal opportunity for opportunities for all officers, regardless of gender identity. This can create a more inclusive and supportive work environment, improving the force morals, cohesion, and effectiveness. So, the reason why this man now him get the commission of police in it is because, it, 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 my mind, I will tell you already, you know, when, when I'm not people feel say a joke here, I'm making it. So the real criminals, them, you know, in the world, in the world, you know, are the people them with the PhDs, them, the masters, the bachelors, and the associates. Are, are the, the real criminals, them, are the people them are educated, and them believe say them are God, and are them, they, they, are them are real corruptors. Oh, we reach a point here. You know, from when we have fight this thing here from Dr. Beans. Yeah, man, Car Dr. Carlin Gomes, man, I tell you, all Satan in a man, all them. All them must suffer before them dead in a man. You understand? And then run it to it, uh, all the posters and things, you know, I'm going to try sneak it in, power, look up it in them and them thing there. And you know, say, so Fieval Williams now come in on with, yeah, with uh, Marcus Garvey, for, you know, for strengthening the black minds and them thing there. You understand? Because that was something that was a no, no, you know. Gavi, no, you can't teach black people about Gavi. I'm too radical. Because black, Marcus Gavi, I tell you about black people for doing do things to themselves. You understand? So, efforts, yeah, so training and support, so effort to modernize them and the police force should include comprehensive training programs and support mechanisms to equip officers with the skills and resources ne necessary to navigate complex legal and social challenges effectively. This may involve training in conflict resolution, de-escalation techniques, cultural sensitivity and gender awareness to promote fear and respectful interaction with the public. So what uh, now in time all a uh, 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 tough a uh, tough guy now a Jamaica I say, oh uh, murder and I say in go jail and say, oh me and a man in you know, me, a woman in you know. it. How does I work out? How, how the man work out that? Because you know Jamaicans are some of the most you know dishonest people in the world. You understand? And, yeah, because hey, some of them you know, come from America, you know. Yeah, man, and you know, them, and through them know about it. But the young people, them can't get them things changed still, though, you know. A black people, you know. Anytime you want to change in America, just you, a black people, you have to use to get it changed. So you see, all of this thing about man can't say, my woman, and vice versa. Just wait until, yeah, them, yeah a black man say, oh, him go to jail and say, my woman, and just rape off a whole, yeah. I just say, go, yeah. You understand? I never say a man did here. Yeah. But I don't know what truth it is. A man in a New Jersey, yeah, and he must get must about five inmates pregnant and all them things there. I don't know how truth it is. Uh, I was reading it and them things. I don't know if it's satire. So, you understand? Because one thing, you know, people all here sign you off to beat the system. I remember say woman them da jail and them and then the next man did da jail with some woman woman, say my woman 
and get all woman them all <laughs> STD and them things. But I mean, I tell you, you understand. So I just in concern about outdated laws and legal limitations and police powers. May require broader legal reforms and efforts to enhance police accountability and transparency. So this include in, could involve revising outdated statutes, strengthening oversight mechanism, and ensuring police officers are held accountable for misconduct or power abuses. So look here now, based on what happened in Jamaica and thing now, well, the, you know, this thing a man should have come in and first, he's supposed to advocate for police officers, because that's how he comes in and he might advocate for, for man in a pink brief, I tell you. Yeah, pink brief man, them. men them, he might advocate for. Number one, he should have advocate for they need to get rid of the, the, um, the petty session court where you have GP, but they yeah, bring them in now. They are not judge. You understand? Uh, GP uh, sit down and listen police and people beat up police, assault, assault, assaulting police, resisting arrest and obstructing police. Them things are supposed to be felony. And them things they're supposed to do, they are got a first thing you come out with, I pink brief business. So, you understand? No wonder why the police was. What kind of world is we are living in? Boy, I mean, I tell you, it's really heart wrenching, and you know, boy, that's why hey, you have some people still doing it. Them say, boy, them rather, you know, them can't deal with what are going. But hey, I just say, you know, you have to just live. Cause one life you have, you know. So building trust and collaboration between law enforcement agency and the communities, their service is essential for effective crime prevention and public safety. Police officers, sh officers should engage in proactive community outreach effort to foster positive relationships, address concerns and build mutual respect and understanding. While gender neutrality is essential to modern modernizing the police force, it should be accompanied by broader effects to address legal limitations enhance officer training and support and promote accountability and community agree engagement by addressing these challenges comprehensively law enforcement agencies can better fulfill their mandate to serve and protect all members of society so implementing gender neutrality within the jamaica constabulary force can contribute contribute to reducing crime in several ways so that's why we ask, like, what kind of madness? You, you understand? So, you, you know, we not just do research. We not, we, we not tell us so that we support this. Um, we are for this gender neutrality thing, you know. And the only reason, uh, we are not telling that we are 100%. We, we are not for it because I, I break your break down our culture. Why? Why at this day and age? Why you want to break, change the culture? No, we are not remain on them thing there. That's just all my seat. I serve with a woman, and you understand, as a woman, you know, you know what I feel as a cancer, be a call a woman cancer, and not woman cancer, because women like to be differentiated because of them sex, you understand. But hey, they more have to compare themselves with first world country, and first world country, people live in a first world country, I live first class life. People in Jamaica live like, you know, I live third world, I live in a third world country. And the police them, yeah, the police them, I get third world pay. The same pay that I was getting in 1988 as a constable. I see him pay the constable I get to the day in a 2024 in a US currency. So check that. Check that. You understand? So that at 36 years ago, the same pay, when you convert it to US, I see him pay a constable I get in a 2024 in a Jamaica. So what? I know they might give you this. A European. So for the past 36 years, not not change. Just remember that. For the past 36 years, police pay not change. I see it when I convert it to US, CMP when I get. But most of them, most police not even reach this far in the presentation. You know? I would just like, educate the audience. I would tell you this is an entertainment thing, you know. You understand? Yeah, whether well, or not you know how to believe it. So them say them are modernize the police force. Why a police alright? Why a police peer is not aligned with a police officer, a young police officer in a New York. Because it takes hey, trust me. Jamaica expensive, you know. The last time I was in Jamaica, you know, a few months ago, you know. The amount of money that I spent in a five days. I couldn't spend that for one month in America. I don't know how people manage a Jamaica. It's too expensive to live. 
And you have to buy water whenever you understand what I'm saying. And all of them things there, them all of the culture. Look, when I was growing up, you just go drink water, I pipe and them thing there. Them hey, look, may I tell you them get Jamaican people, Americanized. Oh the water no good. The best water, best pipe water in the world, even Australian scientists say best pipe water in the world and the cleanest is Jamaica. But yet still Jamaican people are buy water. Cause we not on a culture again. Yeah, everybody wanna walk with buckle with water. Like them, you know, like them like them live in America. You understand? And the reason why American people don't drink the water out of the tap pipe, you can't trust it. And you can't trust the government either because they will give, give lead and mash up your brain. Because you, you think them easy and them know them know them know which line which line carry this water go to which community and them thing there. So if you live in a black community, worse, you can't trust the water. But most black people will live in a black them can't use buy the same water in a in a the pack. In the pack, whether 20, 26 or 30 or 40, for cook. So, they must still use the same thing. And you can't cook out the lid out of it. So, it's still going to mash up your brain and your children's brain. So, everything is always designed against one race of people in this world. And then, now, in time, they come with all them, up is down and down is up. Yeah, they put black people in a mix. Yeah. Come on. Black people don't need no sympathy from nobody because we're still being oppressed. You understand? And the only reason why some of the vote and them things are because of the fear of the other. And sometimes, look, sometimes maybe other are even better. You understand? We well, tell you that because one thing that the Jamaican people they must say, one thing when them Donald Trump is a president, as much as him lie, and the whole of them lie too. You understand? Well, I just saw it go. So the broaden, you know, so, so this broaden the talent pool and ensure that the force is equipped with personnel with various skills and perspective necessary for effective crime prevention and investigation. I will up a pink brief man in our police force and them thing there. You understand? And we say I will up them get promotion the other day. Them never, <laughs> you understand? So two, improvement community relations. Gender neutral policies can foster greater trust and cooperation between law enforcement agency and the communities they serve. When the police force reflects on the demographics of the population it serves, it can lead to increased empathy, understanding and rapport with communities members. This in turn encourages citizens to report crimes, provides information and collaborates with law enforcement efforts. You can't change the culture on people. As much as them are trying to change it and them thing there. Well we don't say look a little little artist them and them thing there, but like man like bounty killer, the man is stat steadfast, Sizzla Kalange, Capitan you understand? We don't have to, we to between them man and them thing. Yeah, him, you know, them man swing any, them man they are rear admiral, so you understand? He do anything to get back him American visa, but him not get it back. Plus, the Rasta, um, the Cokis, um, Bujibantan, yeah, him, him, do, him, do, him try to do everything to get back for him visa. But we soon, we soon get a topic about that too. Enhance problem solving capability. Gender neutral approaches. Encourage creative problem solving and in, in, innovative strategies in addressing crime. Officers of all genders, different perspectives and experiences can lead to more comprehensive and effective crime prevention in each initiative tailored to the specific needs of diverse communities. This can include targeted intervention in areas such as domestic violence, gang activity and youth crime. Hey, look here, in Jamaica and them things, we don't have no, um, we don't have no, uh, we don't have no problem with um, people where, you know, where them operate outside of the laws of nature and science. Mitigation of bias and discrimination. Gender neutral policy help mitigate bias and discrimination within law enforcement practices by treating all officers equally based on their qualifications and performance rather than gender, the force can create more equitable and inclusive work environment. This reduces gender-based discrimination or harassment within the force and foster a culture of respect and professionalism. We see a woman when I police force it 24 years. Uh, no, 34 years and she had corporal for 24 years. Wow, I just saw it go, so, because she not turn a mattress in her body and them thing there. I just saw it go. Yeah, we see her ascent on. 
So I would say a guy the other day, a two promotion him get since the um, the Pink Beef Commissioner, a guy from St. James. Two promotion him get him get one this week from from Canterbury to Corporal, then the next one to Corporal to Sergeant. So it goes so it, and them say my big rear admiral down in a St. James. So strengthening institutional resilience, embracing gender neutrality can strengthen the police force resilience and adaptability to evolving crime trends and challenges. It's demonstrate a commitment to progressive values and modernization position the force as forward thinking and responsive institution capability of effectively addressing emerging threats. Uh, so if you believe in a God and them thing, uh, you can't promote them something. Uh, God, you, you understand? They, them things are antithetical to what the meaning of godliness mean and truthfulness. So we still still on our thumbs of the liars them. How we all get rid of them? Boy, our oh, God can't help you. And as him say, boy, God not help. Hey, God not help. God help those who help themselves. And them have all I, all of the weapons them we can destroy the world and kill off everybody. Them say, boy, you know, right now, with a right close to Armageddon. And we just say, hey, just go feed, you know. I just want to have wicked and dead. I just saw it go. You understand? But we know, say, all of the wicked, them, yeah, man, we don't have nothing to want to believe. We no money can buy on the way to heaven, you know. We could have trillion, we could have trillion or a billion a little more. Anytime we're not dead, we're not going to pay for no sins. You understand? And we don't like, you know, say, yeah, we can stay up on the balcony of heaven and I watch you know, yeah man, I pay for the sin of hell. I wanna feel like say, I wanna feel like say, God not gonna negotiate, negotiate, negotiate with you know. And I tell but oh, why if God had this and that, me not, yeah, what really? You understand? God not gonna negotiate with no man. Cause God a God, I just saw it go. And God said before me earth pass away, heaven and earth shall pass away. So no care wicked you know, you know, you know, you know. Yeah man, God is the Almighty. Yeah man, and God will sink anything on this planet. Sink it down to the abyss. You understand? Hey, we see all house in all, all land, you know. Sink, you know. Yeah man, a house, a, a, two house sink on them thing, and three people, you know. No, hey, nobody, them can't find the bottom, you know. The, you understand? At that part there in Florida, you know. All land, you know. Just look. And them say, hey, because of the wickedness of the people, they may live there. Some white people. Well, I tell you, I just saw it go. And they must say, I got that I shook because they're wicked towards black people. And they must, yeah, man. So I just got that, a lot that, work. and they must say, boy, nothing was wrong with the style and them things there. So whether or not, although you might firm pound wrong, they must say, it's wrong, you know, that's not end that thing, you know, because they must say, the earth, round. You understand? And the earth, it's not on the bottom. It's not on the bottom, you know. So just say, it go. So defining what constitutes constitute a woman is complex and nuanced. Well, I tell you, I tell you, you understand. So I eat rural trees, I talk about now, say, this is where we are going, this is the room where we are going now. You understand where you can't define a woman because gender neutrality, I get them, I get rid of the woman thing. So a woman is a, a woman under attack, you know, by men, you know, if you understand. Because the white man, he can't win, he can't win, you know, he can't, he can't win in a physical game. So this is a female, you know, you know for, a cup put himself now and then if you go in a sports a this is problem you know yeah because them can't dominate the white people them can't dominate in anything so what they want to do now they want to go in a sports like in a olympics man so like all the hundred meters them where we have all shelly and fraser price the jamaican them where win and alex felix the american girl and all them thing there and all right then like how, um the African girl and where well, you know she I dominate the one hundred from the other day. I'm not even remember she name. She can you know she I'm a Jamaican girlfriend to one you know no so yeah she are one of them kind of people there, you understand? Yeah. You know, cause yeah. I just fear I think that. So the thing is that now what them want now. So in a them race you now, a man now, you know, a white man want to come in now and say my woman. So I that them want you know, I suppose them want to take over on them thing there cause I must say when you're looking at all like, top athletes in the world, black people, yeah. So the same people then we said then then did um, superior to black people. Uh, yeah, superior. Right? The superior in a wickedness. <laughs> I just saw it go. They're not superior to black people now. On <laughs> them superior in a wickedness. Cause black people, they think uh, of build weapon or to kill people. You know, black people love entertaining and muggling and all of them things there whilst every day white man all is I think over kill other people you know including fiend people them too you know 
Because all of them, them can't live good, you know. I, I, I live in America, you know. White people, you know, for them neighbor, no close, you know. Because, hey, them no run for kill one another, you know. White people, you know. Hey, when they're killing you know, and kill all the entire family, you know, man. Yeah, I just saw them do it, you know. So that's why they feel the far. They live in a rural part. They can't live in a city, you know, because they can't get along with people, you know, because through them the communication skills, you know, poor. So that's why they live all a mile. Them nearest neighbor and them thing, they all a mile. You understand? I saw it go on them thing, and them living, and them comfortable with that. And them love them going and all them something. And, hey, them not like, for your black, them not like you. You understand? Yeah. So, you know, moving on. So, defining what constitutes a woman is a complex and nuanced, encompassing biological, social, cultural, and legal dimensions. While it may seem straightforward at first glance, the reality is that the concept of gender is multifaceted and can vary significantly across context and perspective. So this is where a problem come in you know, and them thing. So that's one one sex and attack on a woman, you know. So where the where are the where are the so called uh, where are the so called feminine groups? Because a woman a woman and attack, you know, from men, you know. And a you know, man uh, and a woman attack men, you know. And a woman want to be men, you know. And men want to be women. And at them, them attack. So we are the feminine groups to stand up for them rights. And I say, no, no man, you understand. For them voice get drawn out, you know, because they are not a part of the establishment, the echo chambers. You understand? And you have to understand, say, even all YouTube and all these things, they, these are things that them control, them control what can go out and what can go out. So whether or not you want to believe it and a man, uh, you know, anybody, anything where YouTube want, them control it and them thing there. Certain things, them clamp down upon that big time. You understand? You think so they don't know terminology and all of them thing there. Because remember, you know, if somebody dishonest, you know, from day one, you know, you can't expect them to change, you know. You understand? Unless a divine intervention and them not believe in a God because them believe money a God to them. And them feast at them are the master of creation of this world. And them determine what is right and who is right. You understand? No, I saw them do it. And find your white, you're right. Yeah, man. Anything where a white man wants him, get it. White man say, want to marry to a black man, Supreme Court give him it. White man say, boy, him want, yeah, him want to become a rear admiral. And him have a problem, yeah, them say, all right. And then they say, eh, but you know, say, it's not a sex organ. Him tell it, then him tell it, say, eh, well, the person is a sex organ, but you kiss it, and all kind of things. You understand? So when they tell him, say, boy, hey, look here, your body will have a sex organ. You know? He say, well, I see him, say, go on them thing there. Your lips are a sex organ, but you keep all kind of thing. So they come with all kind of something, and then know what they do. They hide all of the information for educate people. You understand? And I know so most black people don't even know this because the the commissioner um, of health in New York, yeah, about 20 years ago, all of them things, you know, them scrubbed from the internet, you know, where them tell you, you know, and you understand, maybe I'll listen to a video, you know, them take it down. They, when them educate you and tell you about um, people who got these, um, what should I say, um, parades, yeah, you know, these uh, up up is down parade and down is up parade. If you don't get a uh, meningitis shot, you know, you go there, you know, you end up with meningitis and dead because the thing will imitate off the people in body. You understand? One at a time, uh, you know, Several American in a dead and thing from meningitis. Cause meningitis is something we go to in Australia. You can't see the microbiology, um, the, the microbes, microbes, you know, were emitting their ear and it come off of them body. And you know, that's a farmer, yeah, you know what I'm saying, DD. But you can't see it. So, it, and when, once it go, uh, once it go in your brain, g- uh, game over. So them all here say that. So once them, then they not tell the people, that, you know. Once you go out them parry there, you have to make sure you say you get that shot there. If you don't get that shot there, you end up with meningitis and dead. Yeah, and meningitis have to do with something for do with DD. You understand? So, because through them, them play with it and all of them something there. So, it emits half of them body and then it travel in the ear when you go out them parry there and them thing there. Me, I got them parry there now, sir. I mean, you know them thing. <laughs> you know them You understand? I mean, you know, you know them thing there. So, I don't know tell you now, sir. You know, say them tell you, cause if you remember, you know, um, this black woman, you know, um, on the Supreme Court, the black woman, yeah, man, and Marsha Blackburn, a 
um, a US senator from Tennessee, she asked a black woman, what is a woman? If you define a woman, a woman, all women have to say, what? a woman of pum pum, a woman of two breasts. You understand that a woman can a woman say a P rather than anything. She said she can't she can't define a woman. I mean I said, wow. But I saw you devil stay in it, devil and shame in Black people. So you know say so she already did sell her soul. Forget the um, the Supreme Court seat. Mm, so you, got, you understand on the Supreme Court. So I saw it go. So if you're not willing to sell your soul, it's like you have a giant it's like a, some secret Oh, all I'm, me, no, sir, so I'm going to do that on them thing there. No, I'm going to do that. Nobody going to get me to sell my soul for that. I mean, I mean, I do it. So, biologically, yeah, man, so, so they might tell you, say, while it may seem straightforward at first, long, the reality is that the concept gender is multifaceted. So, they want to tell you, say, various kind of things and all kind of something with, with, when it comes on to women. So, biologically, a woman is typically defined as an individual with two X chromosomes reproductive anat an anatomy associated with the female and sex secondary sexual characteristics such as a breast such as breast and menstrual cycle that's all the, that's all the woman in the office the black woman and she couldn't say that so we are going on to the madness now so however it is essential to recognize that not all individuals identify as women fit neatly into this biological definition, def de definition as chromosomal pattern and reproductive anatomy variations can, can occur. From a social and cultural standpoint, gender identity plays a crucial role in defining womanhood. Gender identity refer to as an individual deeply felt sense of being a male, female, or something else. You know, say something else that are just madness. Because if you're a man, you're either you a male or a female. You understand? But boy, may I tell you, say, you know, as some, yeah, hey, if you notice, most, most um, children, are, 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 you know, um, people of my generation, we have, for them kids, say, they don't want a kid, they don't want none. Because are they, Break the, the madness that's going on in our school system, especially in America. Yeah, I want to tell you, you know, yeah, whether well, or not you want to believe it, you know, so me have a cousin and them thing there, and she have, a, she have a one daughter, me I tell you. But I don't call her name and them thing there, and she dip on um, Instagram, and me I tell you, I say, no, sir, boy, I say, she did it, and she want, and I say, oh, that, I say, boy, I know, say, my, my, um, my granduncle, I know, say, boy, you know that, he may not agree with him supposed to have turned because he doesn't believe a female granddaughter black under America you know with all of them things there you understand educated but I don't know it's like something wrong something you understand what I'm saying and she got a church so I don't know how the religion how for them philosophy is more powerful than the religion that's it can overpower that she I, I, she, yeah, she did. Uh, so she, she said she wants uh, money for yeah for create some kind of some. But I mean, but I mean hey, me, me watch it like for a few seconds. I'm just between me and you, me just me just block up on uh, Instagram and them thing there. Yeah, you understand. I want my cousin daughter. You know, me not call her name and them thing there. And I say, boy, that is just real. You know, some cooks thing. You know, you understand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you know, I only for mad people, I'm only for me. I tell you, you know, right now, you know, the amount of mad people they both know and them thing, you know, I tell you, you know, you understand. People now, if it, uh, naked and them thing, they're mad now, you know, you have a whole heap clean clothes, mad people, you understand. So, for many people, their gender identity is a fundamental aspect of their identity and may not necessarily correspond to traditional binary notions of male and female. Furthermore, legal definitions of womanhood can vary depending on jurisdiction and may be influenced by civil rights protections, anti-discrimination laws, and recognition of gender identity. All of them something, you know, a one race of people them thing are geared towards, you know, white people. You know, have nothing to do with black people, Chinese or Hispanic. But hey, the Hispanic, them, them, love, them, love, them, them feel sad, them, you know. Them don't know say this now, nothing to do with them. A one group, um, race of people, white people, Europeans. You understand? Yeah, so in some contexts, legal recognition of gender may be on self-identification or medical criteria. While in others, 
it may be more rigidly defined based on biological sex. So, as we're telling you about um, the Supreme Court Justice during a Senate hearing, underscore the complexity of defining womanhood and the challenges of reconciling differ differing perspective on gender. It's highlight the need for informal and respectful dialogue surrounding gender identity and recognition and the importance of upholding principles of equality, dignity and human rights for all individuals regardless of gender identity and expression. Guess what? You sent a year them I use them murder. A one set of people them not talk about you know, black people. Black people still not right in this world. So when they hear them I tell you about gender, they say all of them something that are just white people they matter talk about. Nothing you know what they are talking you know, is not geared towards black people. So you have to just understand that. None of it is geared toward black people. Everything is geared toward white people. You understand? So whether or not um, you know, people want to believe it, I just saw it go. So black, you know, you have some black people that have enough of themselves. And I don't know why the black people them always behave. Them always behave more than the white people them. Because the white people them uh, man them uh, claim to them a woman, them not show them not behave so out of the street, you know, but the black man them, I tell you, you know, them in you know, a man, them nothing. You know. All them love gone and you understand. You know, so I just saw it go. So the importance of upholding principle of equality. And then you hear them thing there, and then the black people that they matter talk about. Uh, human rights that now nothing to do with black people, white people thing. So while defining womanhood may lack a singular, universal, accepted answer, it is essential to approach the topic with sensitivity, openness, and recognition of individuals' diverse experiences and identities across the gender spectrum. Promo promoting understanding the acceptance and inclusivity is critical to fostering a society that respects and affirms the rights and dignity of all individuals, regardless of gender. So all of them things are just white people. So if you notice now, guess who you know here say anything about it? Yeah man, go me beer, go me here and ask nothing about it. Cause anything have to do with the destruction of black people, you know. Mark go me be here and ask nothing about it, you know. Any mark goal in any destructive policies that are going to destroy black people in Jamaica. He is silent because he's complicit. You know you might look upon it. Most of all, you won't know because your brain it do not function. Remember say PMP LGBT PMP is uh, PMP as the original LGBTQ plus party. Until yeah, until um Bruce Golden exit the Jamaica Labour Party and hey, yeah man um Brogard, yeah man Brogard bring in a whole heap of them man. Terry Lang and all them people, the people them say some people are poor more, yeah, them say said um Terry Lang bore him no him, him tongue. Oh man bore him tongue and yeah boy. So you don't know well, I mean I don't know. You understand? So I saw it go on them thing there, so them infiltrate Edward Siaga party, man I mean a pink brief and them take it over now. You understand? And them people have some money I got in there. You know some money is only of this world. So by stay staying silent, yeah man, Gummy Beer is essentially endorsing these destructive policies policies that are the people he supposed to represent. It is alarming that someone in a position of power would choose to disregard the suffering of their people. Because all of this must destroy black people, you know, especially all in a ghetto. As a leader, Gummy Beer is responsible for speaking out against injustices and fighting for the rights of Jamaican, of the rights and well-being of all Jamaicans. But instead, Gummy Beer chooses to stay silent, allowing these harmful policies to continue unchecked. We must hold our leaders accountable and demand they stand up for what is right and not who is right. Silence is not an option when our communities are at stake. Let's not be fooled by the silence of those in power. We must speak out and demand change. So the truth about Mark Golding, that is going to be a silence and a destructive policy in Jamaica, I mean the black community, his lack of action speak volumes as a leader and raises questions about his true intentions. It's time to hold those in power accountable and demand better for our people. Don't be fooled by the silence. Educate yourself and take a stand. A lie doesn't become truth. Wrong doesn't become right. And even doesn't become good. Because people are forced to ignore their conscience, decency, 
truthfulness and goodness. Evil may prevail for a time, casting a shadow over what is just and proper. But remember, evil never lasts forever. It will fall one day, crumbling under its deceits and malice. No man manipulation or oppression can change the fundamental truth. Truths govern our world. Conscience, truth and goodness will all live triumph in the end. Same like how them impo- I tell you, say we as black people we were inferior to them and for centuries them you know continue with that. I remember you know, it's it's their population and their population are doing the down, you know. So all of th- all us we as black people all of them things they might try to impose from where just we but black people some black people I said boy they don't want them children coming out a system like this this kind of evilness you, know, you understand this is even worse than slavery because this is mental slavery so you know so for for the fall of evil is inevitable and the light of truth will always shine through the darkness Ronald Reagan said that so the fall of evil a message of conscience and truth we explore the tr- timeless the timeless truth that a lie doesn't become truth. Wrong doesn't become right and evil doesn't become good. Simple because people are forced to ignore their conscience. These sense the truthfulness and godliness. Throughout history, evil has never lasted forever and has always met its downfall. So this video reminds us that no matter how powerful evil may seem, it will ultimately fall one day. So let this message inspire you to always stand up for what is right, even in adversity. Holy for white people are paid the price of being truthful right now. So as we empower to make differences in the world, implementing gender neutrality within Jamaica Constabulary Force as mandated by the newly appointed Pink Brief Commissioner of Police, Dr. Kevin Blake, is a significant policy shift to modernize the institution and promote inclusivity. Dr. Blake, a distinguished academy, academic with a PhD in geology, <laughs> so, uh, uh, that's, all right, brings a fresh perspective to law enforcement, challenging traditional norms that have long dictated separated roles for men and women within the force. And you know, say, all of our bosses never kiss up to you, you know. Hey, well, that's a good thing, you do all them things. I mean, I'm not going to jump on the wagon and anything, you know, because I don't believe in a fair destroy culture. Culture remain, right? make it make a stand apart. Historically, the police force has maintained gender-specific assignment, often due to perceived risk associated with specific tasks. However, Dr. Blake's di- directive departs from his outdated paradigm, emphasizing equality of opportunity and breaking down barriers that hinders women's full participation in law enforcement. By embracing, identity, by embracing gender neutrality, the Jamaica Constabulary Force aims to leverage all its members' diverse talents and capabilities regardless of gender. This move fosters a more inclusive work environment and enhances operational effectiveness by tapping into a wider pool of skills and perspective. Critics include the renowned sports commentator Oral Tracy express concern about this policy's shift, potential implication they fear it may be, it may signal a broader societal trend of moral decay blurring the line between good and evil, which is true. However, proponents argue that such fears are unfounded and that gender neutrality re- 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 reflects a progressive step toward gender neutrality and equality and social justice. So, oh, this not benefit black um, um, reducing crime in Jamaica. This have nothing, all this are good towards is moral decay. So moreover, introducing gender neutral policies align with broader efforts to modernize law enforcement practices and align <laughs> with international standards. If Jamaica uh, align with international standards because international standards so my police, uh, police were charged with murder and them thing now. In an international, would not charge with murder. Jamaica is a criminal's criminal state. You understand? I know the maternity that yeah, a, a neutrality state. Yeah. So yeah, yeah so all a man will wanted and them thing. You can't say wanted man no more. You have to say wanted. Where you go? So you can't say man or woman no more. Because they say agenda neutrality. So you have to say boy, this person is wanted. Well, a lot of kind of madness though. If you adapt to all them kind of craziness there. So indeed, as other in 
jurisdictions evolving their approaches to policing and using force. Jamaica must remain abreast of these developments adapt and adapt accordingly. However, amidst discussion of policies, transformation, more profound questions emerge about the nature of truth and morality. Some individuals rooted in spiritual beliefs contend that the higher truth exists beyond human comprehension, transcending the boundaries of gender and societal constructs. They emphasize the importance of ethical education and moral principles in shaping a just society even as external pressures and propaganda threaten to distort reality. Ultimately, adapting gender neutrality within the Jamaica Constabulary Force represent a pivotal moment in the country's law enforcement history. It underscored the evolution of societal norms and the imperative to uphold principle of equality, justice and integrity in all facets of governance and public service. The question of gender identity and the inclusion of transgender individual in society is profoundly complex and multifaceted issues that elicit strong emotion and different, different perspective. While some individual may view the acceptance and recognition of transgender identities as progress towards inclusivity and, and equality, others may perceive a departure from traditional norms and values. Another tradition, it's that that is a way that they depart from truth and I create lies. So I don't understand nothing for the norm. God God make other man Eve. So a white man don't him have to create something else. A white man I do this, you know. And know black people, you know. And remember say the garden of Eden is not in Europe. So I white people them, you know, still I impose them will on us. You understand? Them try to kill us many from centuries and all of the atrocities they come in the world, like all is it's emit from Europe. That's the epicenter of the devil. Whether or not you want to believe it. You understand? We are, you have good white people and you have evil white people. Same so you have in a, every, every race. So we're not going to just use a brush and paint. But we know say, that's where uh, evil originated from. So it's essential to approach this topic with empathy, understanding and acknowledgement of diverse experience and perspective of individual individuals involved. So look here now, boy, it's hard for me and them things. If you are me, I'm a man, I'm a man, I tell me about if you call him. And as some bully business, you know, I'm a man, I tell me, say, boy, I'm me if you call him she. No, I mean, I know that. I mean, I call the man no she and them things. I'm going to tell you, say, you know, I'm going to love a juice, 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 I'm going are are deviant. Deviant may now be accepted as part of a spectrum of human diversity. This evolution is a natural part of social progress and reflect broader commitment to equal. A madness that the United Nations are coming here with that and them thing. And guess what? The biggest, normally, you know, are the government supposed to fear the people, you know. But I people fear the government. So I just said, so them, them want to tell about education and awareness. And all of them things are you know, just brainwashing you know, are the people. Mind control and conspiracy theories. It's essential to critically evaluate claims of mind control or conspiracy theory surrounding transgender rights. Of course, there are madness that such narrative often lack scientific evidence and may perpetuate harmful stereotype and stigmatization. Stigmatis, stigmatization of transgender individuals instead of suc um, succumbing to fear mongering or conspiracy theory engaging in informed and rational discourse based on facts, evidence and empathy scrutiny. Everybody come tell me all the madness there. Yeah, you born with the balls, you yeah, a man. Alright, if you say you're a woman, you want to cut off your cut off your teeny, cut off your penis. Yeah. You understand? And you can open up your body and make a man jump in either. Phone the business that. But I come tell me both of you call the man because she will open up for body. You must say, boy, I'm a woman. That's a theme thing that. But me know that. You know, come to me, them, me too whole. You understand? I go to Sunday school. I see a white man, them, I uno, I uno. 
brainwash me, you know, and, and with God and all them things, yeah, and Jesus. I want to give you all white man say oh, Jesus. I went and we find out, say a lie, when I tell. When I tell you, say, well, it don't really matter what God, Jesus is. So why it did matter then, when you have, have white Jesus in all my grandmother's house? And my grandfather all used a cuss. And I said, you know, you shouldn't take down this damn white man, because Jesus, no white man are dead for no black people. I that my grandfather is saying, you know, so no white man, which white man you know I go up and cross, I got dead for black people. He said, I know, he said, Jesus can't. And my grandfather was a man, he never got in a big school, he never had no, 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 no degree. And him, for a black man, didn't know that. And him, not, him never did all that. Um, he, 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 he never had no degree. My grandfather was on a big shot and them thing. Although, him, you know, upon sight, he worked like as a foreman, you know. And them call him, them call him Count. Count, yeah. Count. You understand? You know, so them are big, big, um, big, big title in our English, in our English world. And f when we hear that man, you understand? Because my grandmother, that, yeah, my grandmother used to have a white Jesus, you know, with an art and, Hey, I tell you, you know, man, that man that used to cuss, you know, and I said, boy, yeah, and I said, but you don't know, one time man married and them thing, you know, the woman, women do all kind of thing and get with it, and them always a cuss, every night, enough time, them, cause, hey, when people get old and them thing, you know, them start, in a night and time, them think them grand pit, and them must be, two of them up, them are chatting them thing, and all of a sudden, man, I just start cuss, and him a cuss about this white Jesus, and I said, I said, boy, oh, you can't say, boy, I tell her, I say, Jesus can't be a white man and them things. Because a white man ain't a dead for the black people. You are an idiot. I saw him as my grandmother now start. I tell you. So, so imagine, you know, you understand. I'm dead and gone and them things. And all of them things are still in my brain. I know when we know in our 21st century, we say, no, but Jesus and a white man. I want to look a gay guy and them things. This guy was a gay guy and all them something. There. And I said, uh, well, you know, it don't really matter about um, Jesus Christ in color. Because them know, say, I'm not them. Jesus never died for them because them did crucify Jesus. A white people crucified the black man. You understand? Because my son are gone. So biological individuals are typically categorized as male or female based on their reproductive anatomy and chromosome patterns. This classification is based on observable physical characteristics such as genitalia, secondary sexual characteristics and chromosomal makeup xx for female and xy for male in most cases you understand so at this thing when i come you know with this gender identity and transgender individuals you know but guess what you have to understand you know sir you know so in some, you know, while there may be a distinction between biological sex and gender, both aspects of identity are valid, deserving of respect. Acknowledging and affirming individuals' gender identity is essential for promoting their well-being and ensuring their full inclusion and participation in society. It is crucial to approach discussions surrounding sex and gender with empathy, understanding and commitment to upholding the rights and dignity of all individuals, regardless of their gender. You have to understand still, you know. We don't have to like it, you know. We are, you know, we are in for some serious time, I don't know. Whether you understand. You know. You have to... And them, them don't respect different views, you know. And you have to understand, it's a, it's a group of people where them boys are us, you know, and violent, you know. And uh, uh, me and me tell you, them aggressive, you know. Or some aggressive people, them. And you don't know, you know, then we use the law and them things. Like, I will see them use it and destroy uh, white people, you know, and I see them court, I will save them a Supreme Court. And that's why, the, you know, that's why three Christians, you know, in America, the evangelists, them, although them not have no conscience and them things, you know, them say Donald Trump has a savior, you know, because of this madness. But if Donald, if, I'm going to show you them stupid now. You see, if they need a ball like Chris Christie, now, a Chris Christie, Maybe would have see me, me, you know, would have a better chance to beat Joe Biden, but them don't want Chris Christie because Chris Christie now preach racism, and Joe Biden, the Democrat, them so them feel so comfortable as them still a push it on. See me, so so we see what. Um, so navigating discussion around gender identity requires sensitivity, empathy, and commitment to promoting understanding and respect for all individuals.
while change may encounter resistance, fostering open dialogue, education and empathy can help bridge divides and promote greater social acceptance and inclusivity. Hey, look here, I don't care what a guy wants to say, you, know. you understand? Me, I st um, believe the word of my father who created me. Now when a man tell me, you understand? It better a guy kill me and them things because me now go subscribe to the madness. You understand? And I talk about call people pronoun and all kind of madness. But he, she, or they, or them, and wall, and we none of that madness. We none of that. We know so we soon did on them things, but I tell you, Rasta, who are going to rise up on them things? Who are going to go defend this? So, the, so we are showing you know, so all of them things that they are dealing with, you know, them things are just white people, you know. And guess what? See it all evil. All right, a black man can't say him a woman, you know. But guess what? They don't really accept him and them things, you know. They say, you know them, say? I follow him, I follow you know. God, this is not a black people thing. Me tell you that, you know. The, uh, you, you see the homosexual thing in America with the trans LGBTQ+. Plus. Remember, me tell you, the white people, they don't like the black people, them, you know. We claim to them, you know. I say, I follow them, I follow, you know. White people, you know. I say, oh, I follow, I follow, on this on the phone, you know. I feel it in this. Yeah, and them treat them bad, you know. They discriminate against them, you know. We understand. So we are sure, you know, uh, you have a woman you know, named Rachel Dolezal. An indivi and individual who identify as transgender raise different issues and contexts, which is why they are often perceived differently. So we are here, we don't have some key differences. Nature of identity. Rachel Dolezal case involve her false claiming her racial identity that is not aligned with her biological background. I want you to listen to all them people, all them daily things, you know. So in contrast, transgender individuals identify with a agenda that differs from the one assigned to them at birth. Gender identity is deeply personal aspect of self beyond physical appearance or societal expectations. So at them, I tell you no one, at them are real, at them are God, you know. But most of them don't know, say, you know, say, even the people them will claim say, oh you know, I oh yeah, oh what's up girl? Them even them themselves, you know, for them own brain, them know say the other person will pretend a lie them a lie. Cause I don't know now they understand. So like I like, mean, you know, me can't pretend on them thing there, cause me not go treat no man like him and a woman. Period. No more me some is not even a friendly person and all them thing they were. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean I know that. Because you see right now, you know a role now, you know. Well, most of them not tell you anything, you know, especially in America you know, and other parts of the world, where you have man, you know, where you pose like woman, you know. All the other day, you know, a man, I read it in the paper, you know, some in Philadelphia, you know, 15 shots, you know. A black man get a white, a white man, you know. Yeah, man, him, 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 when he realized, man, say, him get a head, and when him find out, say, is a man, a 15 shot in game, man, you know. Yeah, man, straight to the departure lounge. And the man, I say, boy, I self defends that because the man, everybody tell him, say, my man, because he said, no, and the man come play with him, soldier, him, him rifle. So we don't know that I go on him thing there. But remember, you know, he said, him that jail with a team, we not him follow up for safe, him get bail. So you have social context, race and gender are distinct, social construct perceive and experience differently. While racial identity is often associated with an ancestry, and physical appearance, gender identity encompasses a complex interplay of biological and, and psychological and social factors. The experience of transgender individuals, including discrimination and marginalization, are distinct from individuals who claim a racial identity. That's a just lie. So the thing is that now, a black man, a black man can't say my woman, but a white woman can't say she's black. You see it? So anything you can't you can't white and say you're black. No, that no work. I black I curse, you know. That I curse. You understand? Yeah, but yeah, anything else work with yeah, but you can't you can't say you're white and pretend to be black. Cause this woman have all of the characteristics them. If if you're not doing a DNA, you would not know such a white. Cause she dress black, she talk black, everything black. And her own parents them come out and say, eh, she's not black and them thing there. And the black people them fire her from the NAACP, them should have embraced her. 
But yet still, you know, the same NWACP, you know, them promote all of them things. Yeah. So nothing, there's no organization or anything to protect black people. So they just throw them to the wolves. Is he there comply? You understand? A mark of the beast. Is he there comply? Or them just ax you? You understand? I just lies around the world, you know? You understand? So, legal and social recognition in many societies, transgender individuals see legal and social recognition of their gender identity, which may involve processes such as name changes, gender marker changes, and official documents, and access to gender affirming L claim, L care. These processes are intended to align legal and social recognition with individual gender identity and live experiences. Whereas Rachel does all actions involve mis deception and misrepresentation. You saw them people are terrible though. The woman just says she want for black and then say a lie she tell. So the man will say, him a woman. They must say no, that ain't him head, him not, him not mad. But she a liar and she mad. <laughs> Baby, I tell you. So I just say go. So in summary, while both cases involve question of identity and authenticity. They arise from different contexts and motivations. Understanding these nuances is crucial to foster empathy, respect and inclusion for all individuals, regardless of their racial or gender identity. So as we tell you before, and we say it again, all of these things is just going to gear towards one people, white people. Anything where a white man want, if a white man say he want to become truck, them say, all right, you're good. They say, I'm nothing to do with black people. They just put black people in a mix. If you want it, like say, a black, a black people, and black people, you can't change. And the black man, them, where, they don't feel like them, oh man, them, you more see them on the street than the white people. The white, white man, them, where, home, where, in a film, them think them a woman, you not go see that. You will never see that. But anytime you see black man, him want everybody to see him. Yeah. And he might, you, you understand me? I tell you, I saw them behave. So we don't see how this thing are gonna improve um, the police force, but hey, a pink brief man them are them around the thing, you know. So have yourself a beautiful day. And this is the end of the presentation to show you how Jamaica, yeah man, the madness has arrived. So have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, young police channel out. <laughs>